It's exactly 10 a.m. Well, depending on what, yeah, 10 a.m. Uh, Saturday. This is the first Saturday in a while when I haven't had anything that I needed to do or any obligations. So, my mission today is to try to get as far as I can with the laundry room. Hopefully, finish it. I'm saying like 24 hours. I would like to be finished. That's just a number in my head. I'm headed to Home Depot to try to get everything else that I need to finish up. And hopefully, I can make a big amount of progress today to get that done. I don't think I'm fully over this little cold I had. My energy feels low. I think I need another cup of coffee to get to my baseline because it's just 11, 12 and I'm, I feel like I could use a nap. the floor down. I probably didn't need to, but I wanted to make sure this area was extra secure before I put the baseboards down, particularly because I'm not replacing the threshold. I went back and forth for a long time about this, but I decided to just leave it and work with it. So I didn't want the flooring to be coming up. So I'm using this Max Grip vinyl tape. I didn't want to glue the floor down because I want to change it maybe at some point in the future and I didn't want to be stuck with it. So this way I could potentially change it out in the future if I wanted to. I'm using alcohol to wipe down the back of the floor just to make sure it's clean and it'll stick well to the tape. This is all of the quarter round trim that I took out of the laundry room originally. It had all of the original nails still in there. Some of the nails were like trim nails and some of them were brad nails. But I took all of the nails out and being able to process this wood to reuse it again is saving me a ton of money. I thought about putting all new trim in there but when I looked at the prices I was like no way. There is no way I could afford to do this. So being able to reuse all of the wood that I took out is far more sustainable, but far more affordable.
I decided to take the weather stripping off. It was halfway coming off anyway. And I think this may have a lot to do with why I was able to see daylight at the bottom of the door. But this door had a lot of things around it. It had these little eye hooks in there. There was weather stripping that was falling off. There were staples everywhere, nails. So I'm taking all of that out, I'm sanding it down, trying to smooth out the old paint and getting ready to add new paint. liquid nails on the trim and now I'm using two inch nails in the nail gun but for some reason this one got stuck and well you can see the struggle to the end is ridiculous and this is the point where it starts to get really tedious and it's a lot of really really small tasks to do and I always underestimate how long things are going to take because I never I don't think I ever considered all of the small steps it takes to do finish one thing I learned a tip recently about the nail gun and how to prevent the nail from popping out I had seen someone give a suggestion on this in the comments of someone else's video in the past, but I didn't really comprehend what they were talking about. They kind of tried to explain it, but I was, I was a little bit confused. And I saw another video here recently that explained it really well. So I'm going to explain it to you in case you guys don't know. So the problem is that sometimes when you shoot a nail gun, the nail pops out of the side of the piece when you don't want it to. What it looks like is that the... When the nail gun pops the nail in, it goes to at an angle. So it goes in and to, kind of like to the side sometimes. Now it's not going to pop out all of the time, but it has exactly to do with the, what your placement of the nail gun. If I place it straight on like this, the nail is going to go in and to the side, which is what happened right here. It went in and it went out to the side and it popped out down here. But, so you, if you go straight in line with the piece that you're trying to shoot into is probably going to pop out not every time but a lot of times it'll pop out the side so you want to go perpendicular to the piece that you're shooting so you want to go to the side so you want your piece going this way your nail gun going this way so that way when it goes in and it pops it'll pop down or up instead of to the side and it won't come out I just figured that out yesterday so when I put this trim up I had a piece pop out um, of the side so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that but uh, that's that's uh that's I'll be holding my nail gun that way from now on
The next thing I need to do is fix is um I need to take this sink out. I want to paint the trim of the door, so obviously the sink is going to be in the way. And also, um, when I put it in, I in accidentally looped the sprayer around the drain pipe so the sprayer doesn't come out as far as it can it just barely comes out at all so i was going to have to take that off and redo that anyway so i figure i might as well just go ahead and take the sink out now so that i can uh, mask this all off properly get to the door to be able to paint this part and then i can uh, reattach it properly so that the sprayer will come all the way out If you remember from episode two, I was in a rush to put these baseboards and this flooring down because I was trying to beat the clock on when the washing machine came. But because of that, I didn't really secure them properly. They were just basically just sitting there. Also, I didn't waterproof the area. Since the sink is there and it could potentially leak at some point, I wanted to make sure that I put some silicone caulk around the baseboards on the bottom so that if there is a water leak, it won't go into the walls. Here I'm just filling in all of the holes from all of the nails and staples and everything that was in the door. Just try to give it a smooth finish to prep it for paint. taking the doorknob back off some of people are probably thinking that I should have put it on in the first place but I put it on because the other one wasn't working properly and it was really hard to open and close but I needed to prep this area for paint so I'm just cleaning the door down it's never been painted I think it's just primed so 
I'm gonna prime it and paint it. So, I'm gonna do the sprayer. Spray the door and then let that dry. And then when I come back, I'll do the glue. Maybe one or two coats of that, and then that's it on the door. So let me get something to cover this hole. Then. As you can see, nothing is coming out. This is a new paint sprayer, so I'm still trying to learn it, but the spout was a little bit clogged. So we just unclogged it and then it works perfectly. Yes. How pretty are you? Huh? How beautiful are you? Me? Mm-hmm. What you like today? What you want? Oh. Okay. But you gotta be all done up for me to call you that? No, man. You gonna paint that? No, I have other plans for that. What you gonna do? Cause I sure been sitting here trying to put, I don't wonder what she gonna do. She gonna paint that on blue like she did the dog. No. All right. It's gonna be covered up. Oh, okay. 